Hi y'all, welcome to Creepy Chronicles with me, your host, Kiri. So I'm on Reddit, admittedly, more than I probably should be. Um, but honestly, I see so much stuff there that's weird and unsettling and I can't seem to look away. And you know, it's just the perfect little hub to look at all your creepy stories, weird things that make you kind of go, ugh you know, in, in various ways. So anyways, so one of the subreddits that I'm in is called r slash paranormal, obviously. And this encompasses like anything that has to do with the paranormal. It's usually people posting like evidence of ghosts or sometimes even aliens or like something weird. And there's a lot of troll posts, you know, so people are, easily able to like weed that stuff out but sometimes there is a gem of a post amongst the trash of this subreddit <laughs> anyway i came across the post where the op says that they live alone and are very much a skeptic when it comes to the paranormal they were about to fall asleep that night when they started to hear their treadmill running in the other room but it couldn't be running because it requires like this lanyard key to be attached to start up. Like you ever seen, it's almost like this magnetic piece on a string that you have to, yeah. So they checked their surveillance footage and scrolled to when the detected movement happened and they found something that scared the hell out of them. The poster put up an image from their security camera in their home that caught what looks like an apparition of a girl in a white dress. I know, I know what you're thinking. A very stereotypical ghost haunting, right? Girl in a white dress. You know, everybody sees a girl in a white dress. But this dress wasn't like that old timey Victorian era, anything like that. No, no, it was not an old dress. It was actually a white sundress with flowers on it that you could like kind of make out in the image. OP says that they checked every corner of their home after this and found absolutely nothing and no signs of a break in anywhere in their home. Some folks in the comments said, if this is actually an image of an apparition, it's one of the most clear apparitions they've ever come across, whether from people posting ghost evidence or having their own experiences, making this a very compelling piece of evidence for those who believe in the paranormal. But, you know, things got scarier when folks started to point out that the girl actually kind of looked too real to be a ghost and that she very well could be an actual person. And this is nightmare fuel, okay? Like, this is one of my biggest fears. Like, I'm cool with ghosts. They can stay in my house whatever but like intruders or somebody like living in the walls of your house like you know how you hear oh i can't i can't that scares me so much more than any ghost so for this theory she either broke in and was trying to burglarize his house or the even scarier idea that she's a squatter and is living somewhere unknown to the op like within his walls or like Maybe he has a basement. I don't know. OP says that they have security installed and they would know though if somebody broke into the home. So they're, they're pretty adamant that their security would have caught any burglary that happened in the home. So Let's hope it's not option two. Well, I hope it's a ghost for his sake. Unfortunately, this person randomly deleted their Reddit account after they got, you know, a lot of notoriety for this post. Like it went semi-viral on, at least on like r slash paranormal, like a lot of people saw it and then they deleted their account and Nobody has gotten any updates from them ever since. And I don't know if we'll ever get an update, to be honest. I feel like most of the time, if somebody deletes their Reddit account, that that's, that's it. So I don't know, do y'all think that this is a hoax? 
do you think that it could be an actual apparition of a girl who maybe died in the home or I don't know, a passing spirit? I believe in like spirits just passing through the home. Um, do you think it's a squatter, an actual person living in this person's home? Um, I'm gonna hope that they called the police to check out their residence after this, but honestly, who knows? Who knows? And we're probably never gonna know because they deleted their account, so that's that. Anyway, let me know what y'all think in a comment below, and I'll see you on the next episode of Creepy Chronicles. I hope y'all have a magical rest of your day, and I'll see you then. Bye!